Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to order and install a custom fiberglass subwoofer enclosure in your trunk. Let's get started. Now in this video, we're specifically going to focus on how to obtain and install one of these custom fit fiberglass enclosures. These are really cool enclosures, specifically made to your year, make and model. And the nice thing is they're built so you can retain the rest of your space within the trunk. You don't have a large box. Now this is a sealed enclosure and currently installed is a 12 inch NVX subwoofer. Now what we're gonna do is actually get this all pulled apart because in this video, we're gonna show you how to get one of these mounted up, actually two of these in our case, in our Subaru WRX. Now the first thing we need to do is jump to the bench to show you the enclosure that we're going with today. All right, so here we are at the bench and the enclosure that we're focusing our attention on today is this custom fiberglass enclosure specifically built for our 2015 and up Subaru WRX or STI. Now we had this built by Wicked CAS, which stands for Custom Audio and Speed. These guys are back east up in New Hampshire. Um, they've been around and doing this for about 15 or so years. And uh, what's really cool about this is this enclosure obviously is built in the US of A. Now it comes in two different sizes for your WRX or for a lot of different makes and models that they build these for. And specifically for this one, you can build them for either a 10 inch or a 12 inch. And these are designed with the uh, JL12W6 in mind. So um, it fits just about any subwoofer. It's a nice build here, designed to take up as little room in the trunk as possible. You don't have to have these giant boxes there. These are nice sealed enclosures. Now, when you order one of these from, especially from these guys at Wicked CES, you can actually order them with a preloaded 12 or 10 inch subwoofer installed as well as they can ship a grill and an amplifier with it, just depending on what is needed for your installation. Now, specifically speaking, uh, without the subwoofer in there, we're looking at gross airspace is just under a cubic foot, looks like 0.95 cubic feet, and it is built to order. So when you order one of these through these guys, plan on seven to 14 days for them to be built and shipped out. Now this specifically is the driver's side. You can get them in driver's side or passenger side. Now, if you don't have a WRX like us, check out their website. They have a ton of what they call magic boxes or these custom fiberglass build enclosures that will fit so many different various makes and models. So all you need to do is head over to their website, go through their magic box fit guide and locate the enclosure that may be available for your vehicle. If you don't see one there, you can certainly reach out to them at info at wickedcas.com. So what we're gonna do at this point of time is head back to the trunk, start prepping the trunk to get this guy mounted up. Now we already have one here on the passenger side. We're gonna install the one that you saw on the bench over on the driver's side. And what we're gonna do is actually swap out this subwoofer so we have a matching pair left and right side. So first thing we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and pull out our, a lot of our trunk liners. We're actually gonna prep the area with a little bit of sound deadening. We're gonna pull this out of the box. We're gonna unmount this subwoofer enclosure from the side and we are going to prepare to get both sides mounted at the same time. All right, so with the trunk all cleaned out and ready to go, let's go ahead and apply a little bit of sound deadening. All right, and just like that, we have the trunk sound deadening, at least as much as we could with the material that we had here in the shop today. So let's get you in a little bit closer. We went ahead and got everything sound deadened, and we deadened the areas where it'll be a lot harder to get to once the boxes are in. Um, we wish we had a little bit more for the outer skin, but it could be for another day, at least for now, up underneath the tire, all the way around for what we had. Um, it's looking great. So, got our speaker wire for each box. 
This one we'll have to trim up a little bit shorter. But at this point, we're ready to start prepping our boxes to get them mounted here in the trim. All right, so we're here at the bench. Now we need to do three things to prep the box before we can get it installed in the car. Number one, see that little hole there? There is a mounting hole that we need to put there. This is the existing box, which was already in the vehicle, and we've already prepped the box by putting a hole. What we need to do with our new box is do the same right in that indent location. Now number two, after we make that hole, is we gotta attach speaker wire. We soldered onto those leads in the previous box. We'll have to do that also in our new box. And number three, is we like to pre-drill our speaker mounting in the new box as well, because once we get this installed, it'll be really hard to uh, just force a screw through there. Um, we're gonna pre-drill here on the bench to ensure that the holes are ready to go. So once we get the box mounted within the car, we can easily find those holes, get everything mounted up, and get the sub installed within the enclosure. So. So we got our terminal cup all hooked up here. Now we actually put ring terminals on the ends and screwed them in. Because we're using a big 12 gauge. It's a little harder solder with the 12 gauge versus like a 18 gauge. It's totally up to you. So that'll go right up to our sub. We went ahead and pre-drilled all our holes. Looking down here, the way that we're actually going to mount our box in the car through the hole that we drilled inside the box is we have these little metal clips, which are the quarter inch dash 20 metal clip nuts and then we brought some flanged hex bolts that will bolt up with little washers into that location so essentially these will bolt through the box into those little nut certs that we put inside the car all right so we've already gotten the passenger side in as you can see we've got our little bolt in there that's all done and good to go it's nice and solid here now we keep our carpet in, but we keep the bottom out just so we have plenty of space to slide it on in. And then what we're gonna do is replicate that with our new box on the driver's side. Looking here a little closer, we got our nut sort in there, ready to go. And uh, our speaker wire, which will connect to the back of, of the box terminal. So at this point of time, let's go ahead and get the driver's side in. The nut in there as well, nut and bolt. Nice and sturdy, nice and solid. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and mount up our subs. All right, so we got the speaker in. We got to wipe it all down. We still have some. Uh, some residue from the fiberglass that came out when we mounted the sub, but we're good to go with this side. Now we need to replicate it, get our sub mounted on this side. All right, both sides are in. Good to go. Let's go ahead and start reassembling the trunk. And then we're, what we're gonna need to do is cut to modify our trunk liner bottom so it actually fits the shape of our subs and we can still open and shut it in the event we have a flat. All right, so what we're gonna do at this point, since now the foam and everything are back in the car itself, now we need to modify um, the false floor here in the Subaru. Um, essentially, we need to cut this to fit because if we don't cut and modify this, it will never fit back in the vehicle with those subwoofer enclosures installed. So 
what we have here is the foam. Now, as we're looking at this, I actually have this as the driver's side and that's the passenger side. So the trunk opening technically would be uh, facing this way. And since we're looking at this side, what we need to do is now modify this little wing part and we're gonna show you the instructions on how to do so. Now on this side, we've already done it because we already had one of the enclosures installed previously and you can kind of see the shape that we need to replicate on the other side. Now each enclosure is gonna have its own specifications online, what you have to modify and accommodate in order to fit a sub box. So as you order your custom sub box from Wicked CAS, just remember that in their photos, generally they have instructions within the photos of the product itself online for that magic box that walks you through where you need to cut, the dimensions that you need to cut, everything like that. Now specifically for the Subaru, what it calls for is us to essentially use this as a template. And based on what we've read here on this end, based on where we need to cut, we're gonna use the straight edge of our foam here as the straight edge where we'll need to cut, but we need to position it left versus right. Now, according to the instructions on this side, we need to go seven eighths in, and then on this side, it's gonna be from this point, it's gonna be an inch and a half. And once we get that, then we'll cut and cut straight across. Now we're not gonna cut down. We don't need a little piece there. It just helps position where this needs to be. This end needs to be completely flush. This is gonna be a straight edge. Again, an inch and a half on this side, seven eighths on this side. Okay, so we basically replicated what we did on the other side, just like that. We got a piece of chalk. Um, unless you have something light, it's really hard to obviously color or make a line um, on this uh, type of material. So sidewalk chalk works great. So let's go ahead and get this in and get it tested. Okay, so we uh, got everything in. Actually, it looks really, really good. Now, if we were to do it again, before we were to make that cut, we probably would cut just a hair more. It's pretty tight in between the subs. So maybe consider cutting just a hair more, maybe another eighth of an inch um, on both sides, if you're doing one side versus the other. And then uh, our little cutouts there, again, about an inch and a half there on left and the right side, and it fits kind of in those little wing spots. Um, other than that, it looks great. Now, it will be, I'll admit, it will be a little tricky to open this up. We'll have to bend it in certain ways in case we have a flat, but it won't be impossible to get this open in the event we do have a flat tire and we have to access the spare tire and tools um, up underneath the false floor here. But that is it. Now, our plan down the road, because we want to utilize this space, we want to be conscientious of our subwoofers here and so uh, we're going to order in some high excursion subwoofer grills to mount up and over our scar audio subs especially with this high roll surround here we don't want to damage that by accident as we throw stuff here in the trunk so that is it for this install i guess the last thing we got to do is a test let's hear this thing bump Finally here, we want to do a big shout out for Wicked CAS for sending over this subwoofer enclosure and doing a collaboration with us. We already had the passenger side and loved it to bits. 
but wanted more bass. So we're super grateful that they worked with us to make this video happen so we can install the driver's side. So check them on out. We'll link their website down in the description. They have a ton of different Magic Box styles for specific gear makes and models. So check them on out and see if they have one available for your vehicle. All right, so that's about it for this install. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, be sure to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time. If you want to see the amps and the radio install and a ton of other videos that we've done on this WRX, we'll link all those down in the description uh, just in case you want to check that out and continue this build. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video.